Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Ray Diaz, one of the TFs for Computer Science E1. Welcome to our video of the week. Today we're going to talk about disinfecting your PC with a little program called SpyBot Search and Destroy. Uh, as we've mentioned in other videos of the week, um, and as no doubt you may have heard either through personal experience, uh, the news, or other media outlets, there's a world of nasty software out there. Um, viruses, adware, spyware, so on and so forth. And for specifically addressing uh, adware and spyware, there are several solutions available, one of which is SpyBot Search and Destroy. Uh, so let's go ahead and download it and show you how it works. You can get the software from download.com or you can go to the publisher's website. Either way is just fine. Here I'm just going to type in SpyBot. And then click on the Download Now button. Once I've downloaded the software, I can just double click on it to start installation. Um, most folks will do just fine accepting all the defaults for the installation, essentially just clicking OK or Next whenever prompted. The first time you run SpyBot Search and Destroy, it's going to take you through a, basically a setup wizard. These steps are optional, but they're there for your convenience. I'm just going to go ahead and skip through the setup wizard and start using the program. As with other software that wants to disinfect or, or protect you from uh, software nasties, like virus protection programs, SpyBot has an option to search for updates. This just keeps you current with the latest and greatest threats out there. I'm going to click on the Search for Updates button. And you can see here there's a lot of uh, updates available. I'm just going to go ahead and check them. And go ahead and click the Download Updates button. This only takes a few minutes, despite the fact that there's a litany of things to check off. Um, once everything has been updated, you can continue. While we're waiting for that to update, uh, I think it's worth mentioning that adware and spyware running on your system tends to use up system resources that really we'd all rather be put to what we're doing. One wouldn't particularly want to have adware running and using up RAM or CPU cycles that I could be better uh, putting toward uh, editing my Word document or watching a movie or whatever it is I want to do with my computer rather than being fed um, pop-up ads. One of the nifty things about SpyBot Search and Destroy is that it's a freely available program that you can install on any PC. And uh, when you're downloading uh, updates, sometimes, depending on the nature of the update, SpyBot will want to restart itself. Just go ahead and let it, and that's fine. Once updates are complete, one of the nifty things SpyBot specifically does is uh, it has this immunize feature. So if I click on the immunize shield over on the left hand side, it'll tell me uh, that it can block certain bad addresses. Uh, what this means is uh, it will prevent certain things from happening in Internet Explorer should you visit a known page that has, uh, that will try to install adware or spyware on your machine. So I'll just go up here and click on the immunize button. And it's as simple as that. Uh, if I want to scan for um, malware on my computer, I can just click on the Search and Destroy button in the left-hand side, and then click on Check for Problems. 
it'll tell me that the scan is in progress. And there's a progress bar down at the bottom to uh, let you know how far it's gotten. When SpyBot finds things that are wrong, it will notify you in the main window uh, in red lettering, conveniently enough. So once uh, Search and Destroy has finished scanning your PC, like I said, it, it uh, gives you a brief summary of what it has found in the main window. Uh, if you have any questions about what it's found, you can uh, click on the item in question and it'll give you some more information, um, sometimes giving you a nice little icon over on the right hand side to give you an idea of what type of threat you've got. So here we have some examples of uh, tracking cookies and registry entries. Um, if you uh, decide that these are things that in fact you do not want to have on your PC, just leave them checked and click on the Fix Selected Problems button. It gives you a warning that you're about to remove some stuff, um, but that's what you wanted to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click Yes, and it lets you know uh, if it fixed the problem. Uh, sometimes if something is running that's particularly nasty, uh, SpyBot might prompt you to reboot your system after it's done doing its thing. If I've decided that I've removed something that I shouldn't, I can click on the Recovery button and set things back the way they were by checking the appropriate item that I want to restore and then clicking on Recover Selected Items. And that's one way to keep your computer clean and free from uh, adware and spyware using SpyBot Search and Destroy. Thank you for watching our video of the week.